In this video, I just wanted to share something that I have caught about hypothesis uh, for doing those group annotations for our class. Um, and so this uh, that I'm going to show you here specifically relates to what we're going to do in Unit 3. Um, so of course, in Unit 2, the hypothesis assignment is just an extra mile assignment. Um, I encourage you to do it if you would like, um, but it's not required. It's an extra credit assignment. Um, that one asks you to annotate um, that article uh, by Andrews and Burke that is on the American Historical Association's website. So it's already a web page, uh, that article is. So you just go and you use the uh, hypothesis annotation tools with that. And there shouldn't be too much of a problem. Um, what we're doing in Unit 3, however, asks us to annotate some PDFs that I have added here inside Blackboard. Um, so you'll be directed to come here to CNM Learn um, from the unit narrative to get the uh, corresponding PDF that you'll need to read. These are both um, secondary sources from academic journals on history. Well, that's not true, one's on geography, but they both have to do with history. Um, so I'm gonna click learning modules to show you where to go get these. I'm gonna scroll down to unit three. And uh, looking here, of course, as usual, you'll see the overview and objectives. The next uh, section is a folder that contains two articles that we're going to annotate. And so I've indicated that if your last name is uh, A through K, you should do this first article. If your last name starts L through Z, do the second one, just to help ensure that we don't have too many annotations on one single article since we're trying to address questions about author's uh, purpose and the kinds of evidence and interpretation they're using and so on. Um, so to get to the corresponding article, you can either continue to click through these, as I've been doing, or you can use this table of contents. Um, I'm going to go to the one that would be for me, since my last name is Morgan. I'm going to click on the second one. This is an article on Brazilian history by Robert Levine. Uh, and you'll notice that this article just opened in a new tab. If you have your browser set to block new windows or new tabs, that won't happen. And instead, this is what you'll see. So you will still see the article, the PDF embedded here in Blackboard. The problem is you can't use Hypothesis with an article that's embedded in Blackboard. You have to open it in a new tab in order to use it. So if I were to click on the Hypothesis extension here, this is what happens. It tells me that it's an invalid or corrupted PDF file. Um, and so uh, I wouldn't be able to use it that way. So instead, make sure that you've opened the PDF in a new window or a new tab. And again, mine keeps automatically doing it. Uh, but now that it's in a new tab, I can click uh, on the Hypothesis uh, extension. I'm using Chrome, of course. If I was using a different browser, I'd click on the bookmarklet. And I'd get the same thing. Um, it would just kind of change the window. I would get the hypothesis tools over here. Uh, we can see that uh, some folks are already working on this, so that's great. Um, remember that when you go to um, annotate using hypothesis, you need to make sure that you're, for one, signed in. So you'll have to maybe sign in over here. Um, and that also you're using the group intro to historical study and that you're not on the public uh, hypothesis annotations. Um, all right, so that should be that as far as uh, making sure that you're able to add your annotations to these PDFs. Please let me know if you have questions or if you need any help, and uh, I hope that you're having a good afternoon.